An overhead bridge at Ballastier Road had to be removed after a trailer carrying an excavator crashed into it last night. The collision left the structure in what authorities said was a dangerous condition. This is what's left of the overhead bridge after workers worked through the night to remove the entire beam. One end of the beam had been dislodged after the boom of an excavator that was being ferried by a trailer hit the bridge. While no one was injured, part of Ballastier Road had to be closed to traffic until about 7.30 this morning. And it's causing inconvenience to pedestrians. Well, typically, yeah, we get down that side and we have to cross the road using the overhead bridge. Uh, bridge. But right now we have to take a U-turn. U-turn is not really close by. You have to go across at least about a kilometre and a half. And the traffic is pretty bad on the way out here too. So yeah, it, it delayed our process by about 10 to 15 minutes. The Land Transport Authority could not say when rebuilding of the bridge would begin. Investigations into the accident are ongoing. The 57-year-old driver and his 59-year-old employer have been arrested and the driving license of the driver suspended. The Land Transport Authority has identified the transport company as Jinquan Engineering. Now, entrances to car parks, tunnels, as well as bridges like these typically have a sign indicating the height limit. And according to existing legislation, if the total vehicle height exceeds 4.5 metres, companies have to apply for auxiliary police escort for their journey. Any person who, when driving a heavy motor vehicle and causes the vehicle to collide with any building or structure, is guilty of an offence and faces a jail term as well as a fine. It is also an offence to drive a heavy vehicle exceeding 4.5 metres without police escort. The chairperson of the Government Parliamentary Committee for Transport, Sito Yipin, says he is sure stricter penalties will be imposed to prevent a recurrence of such incidents.